and dozens coming together tonight to raise awareness for missing and murdered girls of color from across the country. News 12's Phil Tate was at that second annual candlelight vigil put on by Girl Vow and has more on the mission behind this somber ceremony. Kurt Amanda, just a moving ceremony here tonight as many gathered to remember girls who are either missing or have even been murdered. Well, as girls have gone missing here in New York as well as across the nation, the nonprofit organization Girl Vow is continuing their efforts with a task force as they look to tackle this issue. We need to highlight the atrocities that women in color of that women of color face, that women and girls of color face. Um, I also wanted to bring out the point of the fact that we're doing this work, but we, we need help. Close to two dozen activists held signs with photos of missing and murdered women and young girls of color. Families in attendance shining a light on their loved ones and raising awareness about this issue. The National Task Force for Missing and Murdered Women and Girls of Color is a response to solving the silence when girls and women of color are missing, murdered, and unnoticed. They tell me their mission is to organize, advance beyond the issues of colorism, racial, and structural oppression with communities at the helm of change. And Council Member Rita Joseph in attendance at tonight vigil and tells me it was important for her to be there because it affects women and women of color when we go missing no one goes looking for us so we have to amplify it ourselves and as you know this is a council with led by 31 women so it's our opportunity to raise the alarm on this critical issue of missing black and brown women and girl Vow is aiming to create change with legislation now in the senate which hopes to take a look at the lack of care and concern well that's the latest here outside of city hall park i'm phil tate news 12. All right, Phil.